Now we got our motor mounted down. We got the chain all on and everything. We got our batteries mounted and secured. Next thing on the list is our speed controller. We have a spot to mount that as well. We're not going to mount it just yet. That way we got access to the wires and everything. So I would say the next most important thing is the thumb throttle. That goes to the pedal and tells the speed controller how fast you want to go. So our thumb throttle is a simple little contraption like this. Work it with your thumb. tells the speed controller how fast you want to go. It's just electronic and has a three wire plug-in. I'll show you where it plugs in on the speed controller here. Alrighty, and then all of, out of all of our plug-ins, the two with the big wires are for the motor and the battery. And then all the little wire stuff is for other things. But our speed controller is the only one that has the three wire plug in like our thumb throttle. You always have a red and a black, that's your power wires, and then the white is your signal wire. So you have to always make sure it's wired right. You wire them different ways on these Chinese scooters. And then on this one, the blue is your signal wire. Alrighty, I got it plugged in. As you can see, we got red on the left, black in the middle, and white on the right. And then it's plugged in the red on the left, black in the middle, and blue on the right. Alrighty. And as I said, we got that plugged in. So that's the whole, this is what tells the speed controller what to do. And you just usually mount this on your handlebar. In this situation, we have a steering wheel, we don't have a handlebar. And we have pedals. So we can hook it up to our cable and everything up to the pedal we just have to mount it on like a post or something like this that we can mount somewhere on the cart and this is just regular old water pipe 7 8 outside diameter water pipe that fits in these you can even get a scrap pry from a plumber or something I already painted the piece that way it Matches our body frame here. I'm gonna throw a washer on top. Alrighty, so we have about a two inch piece of 7 8 regular old water pipe. We have about a two and a half, three inch, three eighths bolt, a washer, and a nut. Alrighty, well, since most of this area is for batteries later, possibly, this area is gonna be being used. We'll mount our thumb throttle over in this area. Try to keep it away from the wheel and the chain, but we'll put this area to use. Alrighty, I got the hole all drilled for our thumb throttle mount. Let's get all this debris out of the way here. The mount will go about, about right there. Put the throttle over it. Put a bolt down through it. Put a lock nut underneath. This is pretty much how our thumb throttle setup is going to be. We got our thumb throttle mounted on a post, bolted down good and tight. We got our accelerator cable bracket mounted down. We got a return spring. And then the wire will route accordingly. And also the motor wires. The route is something along the lines like that, as long as they don't interfere with the spring. Then our cable wraps around, goes through the frame to keep it nice and straight as possible. To the bracket on the cart, we have another cable holder, you have to tighten it up. And we've got it run up to the bracket on the pedal. We're just going to leave the short and big pedals on here for now, just for test purposes. And then show you back 
here. Grab the pedal here. So that should do nicely for our purposes. Next, we'll work on wiring up the kill switch. <laughs> 